So, the first problem was this, right? I'm going to grab my lab. So you guys already know that I need to zoom him down. So I need to come back with my needle. But then, instead of grabbing, what my opponents can do is just work with the shield. So I need to so put the shield to block my way. As I put more weight on him, the shield becomes stronger. Right? So the idea is not go against the shield. Then have exactly what we did in the one one. Right? As I push, he push against me and release the bottom leg. I'm back in his body. Right? So every time I'm gonna put the shield on me, instead of going forward against the shield, I better walk back again to put my knee on the stone. Right? I know that you guys want to do this. The knees like so fast, but as I get the shoe in front of me, I'm gonna walk back. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up my grips, column and sleeve. I'm gonna cross the knee again, and, but now when I try to work with the shoe, I'm gonna be like this. Look, my hand is on the ground, over the shoulder, okay? I'm not fighting against the shoe anymore because I'm going to move my hips all the way forward. You have the shoe. I throw him down. When I go down, my hand goes to the floor, my knee is going to drop to the ground, and I'm going to put my, my hips forward. So there's no shoe, see? Put the shoe. Put the shoe. Go there. There's no shoe anymore. As much as I fight with the shoe, better for him. All right? So every time that my opponent create a leverage, I need to get out of this leverage. I cannot fight against him. All right? So I need to change the angle. So he zips outside. That's why his, his shoe is so strong. So I better bring his knee or his hip to the middle. Stretch my hand. Then I grab the call to the ground and point my knee on the floor. You're gonna try to lift the shield, I just move forward. Drop the hip. And pass the ball. Alright? Any questions? One more time? Go guys get it. You get it? Going through? <laughs> Thank you.